you know what you want your future to hold, you can't worry about what other people think. That it's funny. Was going on about it applies to... Earlier. I thought he was a lion, not a monkey. But it also applies to him, because this is a dark power, right? But he doesn't care. He's made up his mind. Ah, I warned him not to say anything! He did. He really did. <laughs> but what exactly is his power, I wonder? I mean, he gets access to your mind, I guess, if you... If you talk, which let's face it, Deku was doomed. Victory or defeat? Yeah, his quirk is kind of dangerous. He can slip right under the radar. You wouldn't even know as an observer. The entrance exam isn't rational. Huh? His quirk is incredibly strong, but that entrance test consisted of fighting foe villains. Robots, right. Huge advantage to those who had physical superpowers. <laughs> what is this music? <laughs> now turn around and walk out of bounds like a good little hero. Is that it? Is that what it takes? That does answer a lot of the things I've said about this school and this tournament where I'm like, how do they make this fair? Well, they just don't, apparently. They just don't make it fair. There just isn't any way. Though I guess that's no different from life. I mean, it's almost impossible to create a system that caters to everyone's specific talents and abilities. Instead, you just go for sort of like a, a an average baseline. Your best guess at what tests for being productive. What? Bye, Deku. What? It's been fun. <laughs> he can't help himself. Brainwashing. When an opponent answers his question, it flips a switch in their minds, forcing them to do whatever he says. Answering a question. That's a really cool power, but it, it leaves him really weak if you know what his power is. Like, he relies on meeting people for the first time and asking them questions. It's This is, whole thing is weird. Like, who is, who is watching The Watchmen? <laughs> it's, yeah, the creepy music. It fits. I bet the government would love Shinso. This is why we need Shigaraki. What's happening? My body's moving on its own. I remember my first brainwashing. Damn it. I fell for it. Someone asked him a new question? <laughs> he didn't get into my head until I answered a question he asked me before the second round. I think that's the secret behind his power. Very clever figuring this out. All these kids are so clever. I bumped into another person. And it was like I woke up. <laughs> Physical contact? Who are you going to bump into on this tournament floor? And in a one-on-one -on -one match, you can't count on an outside force intervening to help you. Exactly. Anyway, man, I hope that's helpful, because it's all I know. Thank you so much. You're a good guy, Ojiro. Ojiro. Beat this guy for you and me, all right? This guy's really honorable. Last episode, I didn't totally agree with his decision, but it doesn't really matter. I admire him just for the simple fact that he, he felt... It was wrong, and so he made a choice that may have cost him. He was willing to do what he felt was right at great personal cost to himself. That is one of the fastest ways to get me to trust you, or to like you. It's really easy to think of yourself as a good person and to talk the talk, but how far can you take that? Are you willing to adhere to those things, even for the things you most want? And I feel like the answer for, for a lot of people is no. So Ojiro, on my radar. I gotta learn, learn his name now. One by one, we're getting there, as I like them. I'm going to lose. It's all over. In the most embarrassing way ever, just walking yourself out, and nobody will understand. And Todoroki is waiting to beat you. What am I looking at? What is going on? Loose for me. All is one. Doesn't necessarily have to just be like physical power, right? It's just a combination of a lot of different powers, possibly. He broke himself out of it. Now don't answer any more questions. <laughs> His fingers. He broke them in order to stop Shinso. So are those shadowy figures we just saw his one-for-all ancestors, let's call them? There was something weird about that, which I guess we'll we'll find out at some point. It felt like they gave him power. I'm the one who used one for all, but I'm not the one who moved my fingers just now. Yeah, yeah, you had outside help. One for all. A secret <laughs> torch has been passed on from person Yeah, to yeah, that was my guess. Those people. The lineage. How'd you do that? <sighs> Later. I don't have time to figure things out right now. I have to focus. He won't answer. Oh, I almost fell for it. <laughs> I would have gotten the caught right there. Yeah, I would have been out for sure. Come on, say something. That's actually really hard. Thanks to the way my quirk works, I've always been at a big disadvantage. But someone as blessed as you wouldn't understand that. I get it. Deco understands. It'll be so easy for you to reach your goal. I've been blessed by others. That's why I am here. Say something, damn it. <laughs> Oof, this is getting, uh, getting heated. Get out of this ring, you lucky brat! Something about this is so brutal. Even though they're just, like, doing normal fighting. 
it's so weird what registers as being brutal and what doesn't. Like, they have these crazy quirks with these super powered up punches, but it's like the simple punch to the nose that, you know, has emotional impact. And top of my list right now is when Gun Guy shoots Shigaraki about 8,000 times in the knee. But they make a pretty compelling or sympathetic case for Shinzo. I mean, one of the major questions posed by the show so far is like, well, how do you navigate a world that isn't fair? And I think one of the potential answers is that you just do the best with what you have and you learn to navigate the challenges in a way that's unique to you. That actually is probably what a lot of these exercises are designed to do. Like, they're designed to force people to use their quirks in varying situations. That's part of the hero training. The jealousy thing is very relatable to me, even not having a quirk, but it's also clear that it's not useful unless it's used only as motivation. The envy is not helpful. Like, it's always going to be a mistake when you try to be someone else. Because in a way, it stops you from exploring the things that you already have. And actually, if you look at Shinzo's quirk, it's amazing. It's not hard for me to imagine a situation where he's incredibly useful and valuable as a hero. It's just that he might not have the limelight. He might not have the flash. And also, he might have to keep his power a secret a little bit because the knowledge of his quirk sort of undoes his quirk. But as like a secret agent or something like that, you know? as a secret weapon in, let's say, negotiations, he'd be unstoppable. And it speaks really well of him that he's been able to make it this far, despite the fact that a lot of things are geared against him. So he's going to come out of this stronger, as long as he doesn't fall into total hatred or total envy. He's going to remember that one, that body slam, though. Help him up. Do something nice. Now would be the time for a, for a good gesture, because I got pretty heated there. They were, like, bashing each other's faces in. Three years ago. Your quirk is brainwashing? That's oh no. So cool. Seriously. Sympathetic backstory time. I'm so jealous, Shinzo. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> New favorite character? Yes. And no one would ever know it was you. <laughs> Sorry. Just promise you won't make us your slaves, okay? What is that voice? Everyone always. <laughs> of course. Oh. I'd probably think anyone with my power would use it for evil too. Focus, Alex, focus. It's the perfect power for a villain to have. Yeah, starting I'm to feel a little bit bad. Looking at me like I'm the bad guy. I said something very similar to that. But you know what? Rise above it? Hell yeah. Good stuff, Shinzo. Like this guy more and more. <laughs> this next couple of seconds or moments is really important for their relationship. It's not just that he's learning from his experiences. He's using every trick he's picked up to improve his odds. On Aizawa's radar. Why do you want to be a hero? What's driving you? Time for some brainwashing on Deku's side. <laughs> you can't help the things your heart longs for. We're proud of you! You didn't tell us you were that good! If only he had more combat experience. Yeah, I bet you would have dominated. He might get a recruitment deal or whatever. Shinzo's put up with a lot of abuse. I'll become a better pro than any of you. <clears throat> uh, he got me again! That was all it took? You better not lose and make me look bad. Damn. Shinzo. Kinda like Shinzo now. Love Shinzo. I won't. Seems like a good dude. <laughs> That's tough, man. I'd fall for that too. I don't blame you. Well, that was like the quickest 180 on a character. <laughs> I was like, what, five minutes in? I'm like, this guy's creepy as hell. Then the heartstrings get pulled and, and now here we are. Best character. <laughs> I kinda wanna root for him in the tournament now. Except that, you know, he's out. I think it is really difficult to not become the thing everyone treats you as. You know, like, if everyone treats him as a creep, it speaks well of him that he still has sort of a guiding star. That he's not bitter and hateful or, you know, starts being able to justify using his power for bad things. But that he's convicted in the fact that he won't do that or doesn't want to do that. Very interesting. Definitely a character to watch. But I still couldn't go easy on him. I have to keep my eye on the prize, aiming for the top. Just like you've said. You don't do him any favors by letting him win anyway. All Might. I had... Some kind of vision in the match. Do you think all the people who've used one for all in the past were there pushing me on? Like spirits? Spooky. <laughs> Did he not experience that? I saw something like that too. Okay. That vision wasn't what got rid of the brainwashing effects. Regardless of what you saw out there, it was your passion that allowed you to overcome Shinzo's power. Even if it was only long enough for you to wiggle your fingertips and expel some energy. <laughs> And that explanation is so not satisfying. <laughs> Very meta commentary there. It's time to stop this childish rebellion of yours. You have a duty to surpass that imbecile All Might. You're different from your siblings. You're my greatest masterpiece. Oof, talking about him like he's a creation. Again. I'll win this match and advance using only Mom's quirk. I won't give you the pleasure of seeing me use yours. Come on down here, we saved a seat for you. Thanks, guys. It's good that they're able to still be friends, especially Ida after his like declaration of beating him. I don't really feel like I can win this fight. But man, I don't feel like losing either. 
This is one of the most practical quirks for day-to-day -day life. I feel like I always need tape and can never find it. <laughs> You're hired. You're recruited. The spot just opened up. Don't you think you went overboard? He's making a point. To the second round. I like the ice particles on his outfit. Made a statement, for sure. Nice try! Nice try! <laughs> oh no. So humiliating. It was a bit much. He wasn't even fighting him. He was fighting his father. I was angry as all. Yeah. You were just an example. In that moment. He looked very sad to me. He's got a lot on his mind, this guy. This kid. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I mentioned this before, but now I'm, I'm resolute that this is this is what's going on. The tournament is sort of whatever, but this is like the best way to get to know these characters. This was such a good episode for, not exactly introducing, but going into depth for Shinzo. Shinzo? He was just sort of like creepy guy in the background, which I guess is the point, right? But now, just in this one episode, or like half an episode, he has some emotional resonance for me. So if we keep getting this kind of thing throughout the whole tournament arc, by the time the villains show up, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be incredible. Because the villains will show up. I mean, they are going to show up. I'm guessing like towards the end of the tournament. This episode was two fights, right? Or like a fight and a half. But we got development for Shinzo. We got development for Todoroki. Continued development for him. We got development for Ojiro. Ojiro? Ojiro? And of course, some continued, if light, development for Deku. Especially in terms of his connection to One for All. Shinzo cuts especially deep, because I feel like there's nothing or few things that are like more damaging and long lasting than feeling like an outcast when you're young or feeling like people find you weird or creepy. If you're not lucky enough to learn that you can sort of like overwrite these things, I feel like those are some of the deepest cuts that kind of linger. And it sets up how you act in the future. Like if people treat you as a creep, you internalize that so deeply that even later on as an adult or like when you're older, you'll have that in the back of your mind and it'll affect your behavior. Some part of you remembers that pain and tells you to lower yourself because that's sort of how you've internalized where you fit in society as low. And so you act in ways that don't exhibit health or confidence. And so the result is like this circle where people continue to put you down there, in their minds at least, in terms of where they rank you. They just feel like, well, something's off about this person or this person is not emotionally healthy. And it's tough because I feel like with those kinds of really deep things, those deep wounds, the way through it is to throw yourself into those situations and again and again and take the lumps until you can actually rise to a point where it's, you're, you're satisfied or where you feel like you've proven to yourself that you, you actually can function well and you just see the rejection, the pain of that process as inevitable to getting there, which sort of takes the, the pressure off each interaction, you know? It's like if you are used to getting rejected, let's say, by people, setting an aim to get better at it no matter how much rejection it takes, takes the heat off of each interaction and it actually makes the rejection lesser, makes you freer, you can start to have successes and it can snowball into success that way. But that's really difficult for people to do because because they're so burnt, you know? They're burnt by the pain of that past trauma. So like, Shizu has it rough. I like immediately sympathize with that kind of thing. Like people seeing him as creepy. That was a really great shot of like his classmates looking and especially the girls like, oh, you know, like kind of recoiling at him. Maybe for Shinzo, the way he copes with it is that he focuses on his dream of being a hero. And there might be something unhealthy about that. You know, like my suspicion is always sort of to be wary of people who want the limelight or who want fame or status or something. And there might be something about that for him where he's trying to prove himself. But ultimately I think that's fine. At least it's something to focus on where he can improve himself rather than him shutting down or becoming extra bitter, hateful, giving up, blaming others, you know? So that was a great way of giving me a lot of feelings for him very quickly. And he's out of the tournament for now, but I'm sure he will be important as the show goes on. But yeah, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys next time when I guess Baka goes up. That's my guess. He's fighting next.